Hi YouTube family, good night to each and every one of you. If you're new to my channel, I would like to welcome you to my channel. So just after work tonight, I have the chance to go out and do some grocery shopping. I have to get all my baking stuff, all my meat, and all my little ingredients to complete my Christmas recipes. So hubby and I are going and I am going to a West Indian store. This is one of the first West Indian store I used to go to since I came to Canada. And this is Charlie's West Indian store. I find when I go there, I can get every little thing that I need for Christmas. So come on down with me. I have a few other store to hit up. Hopefully we have the time to do so. I must say it's gonna be a busy busy evening and I like to take you all with me for my friends and family who live in Canada and you have a hard time finding one of your ingredients for your Christmas recipes I'm gonna show you a place that you can find many many Guyanese ingredients and you know all your stuff for your cake pepper pot and all your Christmas needs so come on down with me and let's go to Charlie's. Charlie's is all the way in Mississauga. So it's a good way for me, but I know when I go there, I'm gonna get everything that I want. So come on down and let's go. Check out the scene of the ducks flying around tonight. Look at them, how beautiful. So we're getting on the highway, hubby is driving. It's only me and hubby. When we go shopping, the kids don't have patience to go with us. So we're going to go alone, but I am taking the YouTube family along with me. Come on down and let's see what we find today. The sunset is beautiful. I'm going to show you. Look how beautiful that is. So it's already kind of dark after five and the place is dark by the time I get to Mississauga it's gonna be darker than this this looks very very beautiful afternoon it's kind of really really jam so you can see from here all the way down there how long the line is going down that way all the way all the way it's moving very very slow and hobby was telling me let's go local it was gonna be faster because when you go local there's many different streets that you can take shortcut off when you go on the highway you can't get off until it's an exit close to where you're going so sometimes you're stuck in traffic here but I think we have just a little bit more right not too long more but for the people who are going to a longer distance they're gonna be in this for like a very very long time before they get to their destination and some people are going like far from here I know for fact some people are going like different different cities so it's gonna take them a long time to get home it's really moving slowly here and this is what rush hour is like on the highway and all over you can see on the different highways the same thing is happening so as you can see here over there on that side the same thing over here there is one two three four five lanes here and all of them are moving the same way over there is a probably another three lanes on that side and the same thing is happening i can see as far as my eyes can see it is really like jam jam pack and some people travel in this every day to go home from work and to 
go to work in the morning because rush hour in the morning is the same thing. So, I must say I'm happy and blessed that I'm working from home and I don't have to commute in this anymore when I used to. It was something that I didn't enjoy very much when it when it's winter time because you can be one two hours sometimes to get home and I don't miss that right now but when you have to do it you have to do it look on that side it's really really slow this side is still moving this is traffic guys rush hour here in Canada so here I am at the Charlie's grocery in Mississauga one of my favorite West Indian stores one reason that I drive all the way here is that they will cut up all the meat for you they have cow heel already cut, oxtail already cut, they have goat and I usually get the New Zealand lamb and they always cut it for me. So you can get anything Caribbean or from Guyana in the store. You can get your cash rip for your pepper pot. They have them in different size. They have all kinds of chow mein, lamb, imams, um, brown betty champion all kinds they have pilau remix they have all your seasoning from green seasoning jerk seasoning any kind of seasoning rice and pea seasoning hot pepper sauce horlick milo ovaltine um, chinese sauce any of your favorite sauces um, macaroni from trinidad and some sweet stuff here they also have breads, plat bread to eat your pepper pot. They have salara, tennis roll, a variety of pastry from different bakeries. I always grab a pastry here for my kids. They love the Chinese cake when I don't have time to make it for them. I always grab something from the West Indian store, pine tart, cheese roll, whichever one they're in the mood for. They also have roasted duck, roasted farm chicken. You can get regular chicken that's not roasted as well. They have some bangamiri. They have snapper, gilbaka, and a lot more of seafood. They have the smoked turkey for your Christmas needs. Some nice hot pickle here. Who remember this? Guava cheese. And all your favorite seasoned brown sugar, demerara sugar and a whole bunch of goodies here in the store for all your back home ingredients here to fulfill your Christmas recipe. And of course, Mariwiri pepper. They have the fresh ones. They have regular pepper, pimento, thyme. They have the fine thyme, Jamaican fine thyme. And of course, I got myself some married mam poke for my cook up on New Year's Eve. And they also have Guyana fine time as well. So much in the store. If you're looking for pigeon peas for your New Year's Eve cook-up rice, here it is. They have some dashin bhaji. They have breadfruit. They have a whole lot of goodies. I bought myself some fresh sorrel. They have fresh sorrel ginger for your ginger beer. And... They have some fresh vegetables as well, lots of seasoning. So you can't say I didn't tell you where to find your sorrel, pigeon peas, fine thyme and all that good stuff. And seasoning in galore, all kinds of seasoning that you can think of. They have a wall full of seasoning. So your Christmas food will have all its flavor that it needs. And of course, before I leave, I have to get myself a nice, Caribbean island drink and a snack to go so I usually get one of my Guyanese favorite snack or a dr local drink from Guyana. In this plaza Charlie have two meat and grocery store. They also have a restaurant in this plaza. In the first shop I didn't get any New Zealand lamb because it was sold out so I came to this other one here. This is just a few doors away from that one. 
and this store you can find a lot of african ingredients as well such as the cassava flour plantain flour palm oil and a lot of jamaican ingredients too in this store um, they have a variety of different countries ingredients which is amazing that's why i like to come down to this end so i'm just sharing with everyone who may be looking for something that they can't find um, within these two store you can find a lot of your ingredients look at all the different flowers that they have some amazing amazing ingredients that you can't find in some regular store here in canada so that's why i take that long drive to come all the way here and now we're heading down to our next store so guys one store down actually two store down Charlie's have two grocery and meat shops so I had to go for my New Zealand lamb leg in one of the different stores so I got most of my meat for pepper pot and for my cook up rice on New Year's Eve and I got all my spices for cake and for my cooking and I got my chow mein and all that Guyanese stuff so now I'm heading down to bulk barn where I get my stuff for baking and I'm taking you all along with me in the Charlie store. You can go in with a shopping cart. You can use baskets. So one of my hands were holding a basket and the other hand was like shopping. So I couldn't show all the things that I pick up. But when I get home, I'll share some of the things that I bought. And um, on my list, I'm checking off as I go so I see progress. I also got myself some nice fresh sorrel. I like to mix the two with the fresh and the dry. So I have some dry sorrel and some fresh sorrel. Sorry, the road is dark and I don't want to put the light on while hubby is driving. So actually he put it on for me. So I have my sorrel and I'm feeling happy now that I am getting my stuff little by little i couldn't come out earlier because i'm working right up to the 20th which is next week thursday and i can't wait until then to go get this stuff because it's gonna have rush it's gonna be hard to find parking and sometimes you don't get everything when you wait last minute so i tried to come out tonight after work and after hobby came home from work which is a good idea so i'm heading down now to get my fruits and all my nuts and things like that from bulk barn so let's go to bulk barn so here we are at the bulk barn and why i like to come to bulk barn they have everything loose you can pick up if you want half a pound one pound two pound any amount you can pick up if you go to some other store they're already in packages sometimes you don't need all of it and you have to buy it and that's the reason i like to come to bulk barn i can see they have most of their candies in christmas colors and i'm just showing a little bit of what they have for people who do lots of baking and catering this is a great place to get a lot of your ingredients i come here about two to three times a year when i need um, supplies such as nuts fruits dried fruits and um, like cocoa powder and some different fineries I come here to get those things I'm getting some of the raisins and I noticed that most of the bins are empty and that's because we came late there is walnuts prunes any nuts you can find here without the shell so if you're looking for some just to add to a recipe without having to break shell to get them out, this is the place they have pumpkin seed, any seed you want to find in here. You can find cherries for your cake, citrus, and all that good stuff. And that's why I come here. They have chocolate chips to add to your cookies and so many different ingredients here that you may need for your baking i'm gonna get myself some cocoa powder this always coming handy for us you can also get a whole lot of snacks nuts trail mix and all that for your christmas guests 
and they have all the nuts in different flavors you can get plain almonds roasted almonds you can get them in honey covered almonds and so much more to name them you can also find here granolas you can find oats in different cuts so many different things you can find chocolates chocolate clusters Reese's Pieces, M&M, Lollipops, Jube Jube, you can find Gummy Bears, Skittle, you can find old-fashioned candies like these ones here. They have a variety of tea, any kind of tea you can come here to get your horrible tea. They also have a place to grind some grains, coffee, you can get molasses in here for some baking needs and so much more. And believe it or not, the LCBO was right next door, which is a liquor store here in Canada. This is not a store that I often come into. I only come here on Christmas time and I feel like I'm out of place, that I don't belong here. I don't know where to look for anything, but I came here to get my wine for my black cake. Um, so we just hit up the bulk barn and to be honest with you, a lot of the bins were empty and they were cleaning up. I asked the girl if I can ask her a weird question. Why was so many bins empty? She said because it's so busy for Christmas and people were shopping all day. So I didn't get all of my baking stuff from that bulk barn. I'm going to have to visit another one. And one time a year, I usually go to the LCBO. That's where we can buy alcohol wine beer and things like that in canada i feel real on un unusual to be in there i did a little bit filming but i went to buy my wine for my black cake i went to get the jamaican um cherry brandy but she said that's so popular and it usually be one of the fastest sellers so they didn't have any i went to get um some fruity kind of wine and i got two nice bottle of fruit wine. I'll show you all what I add to my cake. So it's not a strong rum cake. It have a small percentage of alcohol, which gives the black cake a nice flavor. When you add alcohol in there, it tends to preserve it and keep it a little bit longer on your shelf or in the kitchen, right? So I have that. So we're gonna head out from Mississauga now, go back to close to where we live and see if I find a bulk bar that I can pick up the rest of my fruits and nuts. I didn't find my pecans and all that. The bins were empty, so a little bit more to go. And I, I got myself a little snack for the road. I bought some nice fat metai. They had the crunchy one as well. But I got these ones here and we got some Moss um, drink. Let me show you guys. I'm holding this with one hand and the camera with the other hand. We got the sea moss here. Hubby had some and he said it's good. And I got an island drink. Got myself an island drink. So I'm gonna snack while I am going home. So, my friends, I'm gonna be using a fruity wine from my black cake and i am using this wine here it's called girls night out i know a lot of my viewers ask me which wine i'm using and the reason why i'm using this one it's a berry kind of wine it's a sweet kind of wine it's a red wine like a dark color so it goes perfectly for the cake i do not use rum in the cake because i give my kids this cake to eat as well and I went for cherry brandy. They didn't have any because they said the Jamaican cherry brandy usually sell out early in December. Everybody buy those for cakes. I buy some prunes, some cinnamon. I have some, but I like to have backup cinnamon stick. I buy some pumpkin seed. I like to make salad over the holidays. Cocoa powder. I have some raisins here and I didn't get all my fruits yet. I have to go back to the bulk barn, but it was late tonight and both 
myself and hobby was tired so we decided to come home i still have to go all back so that's stuff for cake except for the pumpkin seed and the cocoa powder i usually buy this to make tea or if we're making a recipe with cocoa powder whenever i go to the west indian store i like to pick up a pack of cricks and this is the multi-grain cricks they have different one they have the multi-grain they have a regular one and they have a whole grain one as well the multi grain is kind of nice when you butter it up or if you cut some cheese and have it with tea it's really nice so this is something and you can dress it up as nicely as you want and enjoy it as well and i'm not sponsored by cricks or any of these brand that i'm sharing i'm just sharing where you can find west indian stuff uh, for all my guyanese west indian or Caribbean friends, these are where you can find your back home things. I have some fresh sorrel here. I'm gonna wash these out and leave them in my freezer until I'm ready to use them. I also bought some Chinese cake. Whenever I go to the West Indian store, I like to pick up some kind of pastry for the kids and the kids love Chinese cake. So we have that and I got some champion chow mein over the holidays we're gonna be cooking chow mein for sure so i have these as well and some of the things that take me to the west indian store is so this ingredient right here is one of the things that take me to the west indian store you can't find it in any other store it's the marad man poke it gives your cook up rice the amazing beautiful flavor the leaves get black very easily even if you put it in the freezer it would it would turn black and looks like if it's not good so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna blend it up with some green onions or some garlic and leave it in my freezer that's the only way you get to save this from going bad and smell it nally tell me what you think it smells good mm -hmm. it smells right away like um cook up rice right yeah so this you can find from the West Indian store, Charlie's West Indian, I got those. And I got some of these macaroni. This is the Trinidadian Pride macaroni, the long macaroni. My kids like when I stew this with chicken or you can even make macaroni and cheese or like my Trinidadian friends would say, macaroni cheese pie. So those are, I have more in the bag and those are some of the things that i go to the west indian store for i also bought more than one pack of chow mein. so oh my god it smells so good wow so so good and let me see here i bought some some lentils sometimes i like to make lentils rice or it can make a nice lentil lentil stew I have that and over here I have a uh, split peas. I like to buy the 15 pound bag because it lasts me a long time. I cook a lot of dal and over the holiday I'm going to be making some dal puri and things like that. So I like to buy the big bag because then I don't have to run back to the store all the time. And these I got from Charlie's West Indian store as well. Over here is my New Zealand lamb leg. Another reason why I like to go to Charlie's. They cut it up for you nice curry size. So I can cook stew with this. I can curry it. I can make cook up rice. I can add it to any dish of my choice. So this is my New Zealand lamb leg. That's one meat. And then I have more chow mein over here. And I bought myself some dry sorrel. All these you can find from the West Indian store. And this is the Charlie's West Indian in Mississauga. Dried sorrel, I bought more than one pack, but I just have to find them. So I like to mix the dried and the fresh one together. It brings out a really, really nice flavor. So those are some of the things. And there's more here. I have the rest of the chow mein. And I bought the kids some chubby to go with their tiny cake. Every time I go to the West Indian store, I like to bring them back a treat and I like to buy them these chubby. They're so cute. I don't always give them pop. You guys know that I make homemade. So today I got them a little treat. So 
that's the chubby there and then I got myself here let me see I have some more meat here I got cow heel for my pepper pot and I like to go to Charlie's because they cut it up and they will um, bag it off for you and I have some more I'm gonna be making some soup and some some cook up rice as well and I have my oxtail for pepper pot and I have more oxtail so uh, with all this I'm gonna be making like pepper pot my cook up rice for New Year's Eve and you can go in soup as well so these are all the meat I got from Charlie's today the New Zealand lamb leg cow heel oxtail we still have to buy some more meat I usually get chicken and other stuff like that I'm gonna see if the kids want turkey and as well and different kind of meat but I have most of my stuff here that I need for my my Christmas preparation they also have all kinds of spices I bought some onion powder all ground all spice you can use this for cakes and stuff like that and garlic powder I saw this this mix spice for cakes and I bought it because it's gonna go nice for my black cake mm -hmm. I usually buy the garlic powder and onion powder to season my flour when I'm frying fish or chicken I don't use it in my cooking but I use it for when I'm seasoning fish in the flour because in the flour you can add wet seasoning you can add the dry seasoning so that's the purpose for my onion powder and garlic powder other than that I like to use fresh ingredients so they have all kinds of spices that you can think of I see one one mixture called ram goat curry powder I never knew it had all that but so many things all that you need for your Christmas recipes so those are some of the West Indian stuff that I had to get on my Christmas list. I am not completely done with my Christmas shopping, but I check mark a lot of things that was on my list. So for all those who are looking for your back home stuff, like chow mein, the West Indian store and Charlie's to have um, champion chow mein, imam chow mein, brown betty chow mein, a whole bunch of different kinds. You can find your dry sorrel fresh sorrel anything of your choice from the caribbean they have so that is it for my shopping tonight until i go out again thank you all for coming with me and i hope i help some of my canadian friends to find some of your caribbean stuff or if you didn't know where to find some stuff i hope i help you tonight thank you take care god bless see you guys in the next video